Hi everyone, this is Vincent Le Jamtel, community developer on Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Welcome to our new monthly video series where you will find out what's coming up next each month in Odyssey. Today, I'm with Bruno Guérin. Welcome, Bruno. Hi, Vincent. Hi, everyone. A part of my mandate as a live content director is to define what's going to happen in post-launch in Assassin's Creed Odyssey. And I'm super excited to be here today because although there is still much to do and a lot of unknowns on the horizon, we're ready to share our plans for November. Lost Tales of Greece is our new additional free content series starting this month. During those quests, you will be able to discover more about your favorite Odyssey characters through surprising new stories, and you will get some new rewards. In the show must go on, our first quest, you will play as an actor, reenacting the Battle of 300 as King Leonidas himself. You know it by heart, you've played it at the beginning of the game, but this time around, the playwriter has a different take on the event. So it will be up to you to decide whether you stick to the script or improvise. In Divine Intervention, our second lost tale of Greece, you will meet a mysterious woman who will test your qualities through various divine trials. Once you reach episode 5 in the main story, those quest lines will naturally appear as yellow side quests on the world map. No need to rush, there's no time limit, so feel free to play them whenever you want. And be sure to save before you play them, as you may want to check the different branching options. Another great piece of content coming your way are the epic events. Either mercenaries or ships, they regularly appear in the game, and your duty will be to hunt them down and get their exclusive rewards, like ship design or a new piece of equipment. With the introduction of epic ships and epic mercenaries, we've added a new source of Orichalcum, the rare currency that you can spend at the ecos of the Olympians. So this brings us now to five ways to get that rare currency that Sargon is craving, through exploration, from daily quests, weekly contracts, and now epic ships and epic mercenaries. With all the Orichalcum you can earn during your journey, you can visit Sargon and buy many of the items he has to offer, including all of the premium items that you would normally find in the store. So for example, the Underworld-themed items that we released a couple of days ago are already unlockable at the Ecos of the Olympians. It's gonna be fun to kick some cultists with this dark fire armor inspired by Hades. But we also have an upcoming additional pack arriving later this month. That's right! Towards the end of November, two new exclusive packs will be added in the game. The Odysseus pack will include a new gear set, a new mount, and a new weapon while the Odysseus naval pack will contain a new ship design, a new crew theme, and a new figurehead. And as usual, all of those items will be released at the same time, both in the store and in the ecos of the Olympians. On November 13, a new mythical creature called Therapis will arrive and terrorize all the world of ancient Greece. And you will be the only one who can defeat it. A new quest named the Lightning Bringer will appear in your quest log, leading you to the Cyclops. Be careful, fighting the Cyclops is a high level challenge, so be sure to be powerful enough before even thinking about facing it. And should you manage to defeat Steropes, you will earn its legendary bow. And no need to rush, Steropes will wait for you in its lair. So play the game at your own pace, because the quest won't disappear. Bruno, I couldn't let you go without some of the most burning questions from the community. For example, a lot of players, they don't really want to choose between the best stats and the most visually appealing gear sets. What can we do for them? Well, I'm happy to announce that this month uh, we'll be unveiling uh, what we call the visual customization system that will allow players to add a visual layer on top of their gear. So what it means is that now you can apply the visuals of any item onto any other item of the same type. And this gives more flexibility and customization options to our players. What about the players who already reached level 50? Do we have anything for them? Well, it, it's true that some of our players actually reached level 50 without even touching half of the game. We plan on increasing the level cap by 20 levels this month to account for what the game still has to offer, as well as some of the new content that we'll keep on bringing. Also, for those of you who already reached level 50, rest assured, all the XP that you've earned before we raise the level cap will be automatically converted into ability points. Last question. We see quite a few comments about the cost to upgrade the gear in the game. Is that something we're addressing? 
Yes, we're aware of this and we're working on a new balance to decrease the cost to upgrade the gear. This will be in the game with version 1.0.6. We hope you are as excited as we are about all this new content and rewards coming up in November. And we have so much more to share in the future, so be sure to check out assessfree.com and our monthly update article. So see you next month for a new monthly update video. Yeah.